There are several techniques that can help improve your RAG app performance. And this is one of those approaches where instead of the usual retrieve then read technique, we are going to rewrite the input and then based on that retrieve and then read. So we're going to look at what that means in a second. A general approach to retrieving and then responding is where we have the input from the user. We retrieve documents and then based on that, we have an LM which is going to read the documents and then generate the response. Whereas in the rewrite retrieve read technique, we are going to take the input and then we have an LM which is going to rewrite the input. Then based on this rewritten query, we're going to do retrieve retrieval and in our example we're going to do a web search and then based on that we get the documents and then that is responded back to the user by passing it through the LLM at the final stage. So the key difference as mentioned is that instead of the direct retrieval based on input we're going to have the input rewritten for better queries. And based on such a simple technique, we can see more accurate retrieval. So the way we can implement this technique in Langflow is by using this component available in the store, which essentially takes a query from the user and we ask for LLM to make it better for searching. And then using this query, we're going to retrieve results and provide that within another prompt where we are providing the context and then asking LLM to respond based on that. And if we were to look at the code, we are utilizing the rewrite prompt that we saw earlier and then passing it to an LLM. And once we get the response back as rewriter, we then send it to the retriever to retrieve documents and also to generate the response. And rest of the component code remains very similar to a retriever component. Now, if we were to go back and run this flow, we are going to be utilizing the text input. This is the query that we are going to be providing. We are providing a tool here, which is the search API. This is going to perform a Google search. And then at the end, we're going to be using the OpenAI based GPT 4.0 model. So I'm asking a question here that what is the history of OpenAI? What are the founding principles? And the response talks about the founding mission of OpenAI. And and also, if we like, we could utilize the logs to check the responses and the tools usage or use the playground to chat directly with this flow. You can find this flow and the component in the store. Let us know if you found this helpful.